Please come and talk. Good morning. So again, you have to manage with my globe voice. I didn't teach my class before yours. Yes. Sir, you know when you drink cold water, you have you going you are going to sick. You know why you are always drink, sir. Uh, it was not water. It was lies. And I could not re resist morning, the sir. temptations. Lies, you know, taste so good. And, oh, sir, uh, you know when you drink cold uh, cold things or eat cold uh, cold things, then you... Uh, I don't know. Actually... You're right. I should show more restraint. I should show more restraint. Restraint means control. I mm. should show more control. My family members are asking the same question. You knew you had a new class to start and why did you take risk? It's not the first time. I knew it very well that, you know, drinking very chilled cold yes, drink yeah. can make it. Because I, I noticed, it. sir, when, uh, when you, your <clears throat> coffee start, I noticed when you drink, when you drank uh, cold thing, after that your um, cuff is... Yeah, cuff. I've got a tonsil. My tongue the glands are very solid. Now, very solid both sides. You can hear me? You guys, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay. All right. 7.37, where are the students? I thought today was going to be a very lovely day. We have lots of homework to check. You guys come closer, don't worry. I won't sneeze on you, don't worry. You won't be infected. <laughs> Sit closer, closer, closer to me, closer. And uh, I think my online students can hear me fine, right? Yes, yes. sir. Yes, sir. Mike is quite close to me. Is anybody on their laptop? Are you on your laptop first? Yes, sir. This time I fell sick after long, long time, I think. Last time I was sick, maybe four, five, six months ago, or maybe longer. And this time I just, I know Friday I took chance. Uh, I took a chance by drinking chilled cold drink. Then again, I tried the same on Saturday. Saturday cold drink was even cheap, you know, colder. That It had been in the freezer for three days. Freezer for three days, not fridge, in the freezer. It was so cold. It tasted so good, you know. <laughs> what tastes good is not always good. What is nice to hear is not always the truth. Isn't it? What is nice to hear is not always the truth. Sometimes the truth is not nice to hear. Okay, let the philosopher rest and let the teacher take over. Hmm. So guys, there was basic homework in the practice book. I will speak less, you guys will speak more. 
I'm more worried about my YouTube class, you know, at <laughs> nine thirty, because you guys are my own students. You know, you guys can handle. Uh, you guys will not feel very bored with my sick voice as well. But I don't think anybody on YouTube like to hear a sick voice. <laughs> practice work. Good morning. How's the weather outside? How's the weather outside, guys? Normal. Normal. Hot or cold? It's cold. I think it's a little cold. Yeah. Okay. So guys, let's just yes, yesterday we had a lovely start of a new batch in the afternoon at four. The vibe in the class was good. The students seemed positive, interested. Team, learn words that come out of my mouth. Some teachers dictate vocabulary in your notebooks for you to memorize. <laughs> Hello, sir. You use use a hanky. You don't have a hanky. You should at least carry a hanky when you're sick. Do you need to see a doctor? Do you need to see a doctor? Uh, it could be... You're coughing quite uncontrollably. So 
लव गाइज यू गाइज आर इग्नोरिंग जेम्स जेम्स जवारात पत्थर महंगे पत्थर जेम्स यू नो वैबलरी इज बेस्ट लर्न इन द कॉन्टेक्सट so there are lots of words i use in the class i don't know about my online students but i know you guys don't notice them you don't notice them you don't notice them simply you don't notice them why <sighs> when people cough when people sneeze they should use their hanky they should put their hanky on their mouth they should put their hanky yeah okay bhai saab pehle aap log khas lo main wait karta hu chalo bari bari shuru karo kuch log bach gaye hai come on your turn guys What's going on? I'm sick. You are making fun of me, or what? Everybody is me is coughing here. I think his coughing was real. Your coughing was real too, or you were just <laughs> acting up. Okay. Vocabulary section. Unit four, the first page. Rooms. and things in the house vocabulary level the rooms in the picture we see four rooms in the picture room number 1 is a bathroom room number 1 is a bathroom room number 2 is a bedroom room number 3 is a kitchen, kitchen. kitchen. and room number 4 is a living okay. room do you have all of them in your house do you have all the four rooms in your house i think no, everybody has a bedroom everybody has a bedroom yes okay faizan you said no which room don't you have sir i uh, i don't have a uh, living room sir okay you don't have a bedroom room. and uh, one bedroom and living room are the same okay got it so in your house you don't have a separate living room mm -hmm. the living room in your house faizan is also a bedroom yeah in my house too the living room is my mother's bedroom <laughs> the living room is my mother's bedroom yes my sleep mom sleeps there at night and in the daytime we sit there and watch tv it's the first room of the house who sleeps there faizan my father sir uh, usually the head of the family in india they usually sleep in the living room uh they spend most of their time there too like my mom she also sleeps in the living room we have a nice bed there of course okay my nephew sleeps with my mom okay and uh ankush also sleeps on the same bed because it's a big bed from one wall to the other wall from one wall to the other wall yeah nearly 9 feet <laughs> Okay, it's a very big bed, nine feet, nine feet by seven feet, I think, or six feet, nine feet by six feet. Yeah. Okay. Which room do you spend most of your time in? Which room do you spend? most of your time in yeah i spend most of my time upstairs in the class yeah and uh, when i am not teaching 
then I spend my time in my bedroom because I'm lazy. I like lying down in bed and watching TV or using my mobile phone. Okay. You guys are sitting very far from me. I don't know if you can hear me. Shut up, can you hear me? Okay. Now let's look at the things and we will you practice our prepositions too. Okay. We studied prepositions yesterday, the day before yesterday, yesterday <laughs> preposition. Let's take a look. Pick room number one, the bathroom. Uh, there is a basin. A picture A, there is a basin. And in the corner, there is a shower. B, there is a shower in the corner. It's a nice big shower. Above the basin, above the, there is a cupboard, 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 cupboard. The spelling of cupboard is very different. Cupboard, C-U-P-B-O-A-R-D. And the pronunciation, cupboard. How funny. The spelling is C-U-P-B-O-A-R-D. And the pronunciation is <coughs> covered. English is illogical. When it comes to the pronunciation, English is illogical. Why should I pronounce it covered? Tell me. No reason. Just because they say covered, we need to say covered. And the spelling is clearly C U P cup B O A R D cupboard, but the pronunciation is <coughs> cupboard. So, where is the cupboard above the basin or sink? You can call it a sink too, no problems. And actually, A can also be called a sink, a bathroom sink. It's called a Bathroom. bathroom sink that is a kitchen sink okay so a has two names basin and sink mm -hmm. bathroom basin bathroom sink okay on the sink on the basin there are two taps yeah. and between the taps there is a toothbrush holder There is a, and there are two toothbrushes in it, right? And next to the toothbrush holder, there is a soap, I think. It is not very clear, the picture, but I think it is a soap. Next to the basin, there is a towel hanger. There is a towel hanger, right? And there is a towel too. In the other corner, there is a toilet. See? It's a western toilet. Behind the toilet, there is a flush, of course. And on the flush, there is a toilet paper roll. I don't understand why they use a toilet paper roll. This is the most insane decision to wipe instead of to wash, instead of washing. To wipe instead of washing. A human being, sensible human being, when they have water in their room, 
why would they wipe instead of washing? Any sensible man would not do that. But somehow they are comfortable with that. When I was in a discussion with some foreigners one day online, and they tried to say something about Indians, you know, a lot of people want to make fun of India. Western media does not want to acknowledge that in this world, one of the greatest people is Indians. Why I'm saying this? We are very stable as a society. India is a very stable as a society. You see very few cases of drug addiction, crime rate very low compared to other countries. Yeah, you guys perhaps won't realize it. Okay. Um, and we can be even better because most of the crime we have is born out of circumstances only, like there are people who are poor, okay? They have no access to food, so they're stealing. But nature-wise, Indians are very stable society, people, you know, they, you won't realize it unless you talk to people, you go outside, you meet people, you learn data. Indians don't believe in fighting, Indians. And trust me, when I say Indians, Indians in general, caste, community, doesn't matter. DNA is the same now. You know, DNA is the same. You know, you may worship different gods. That doesn't really change your nature. Okay, maybe some habits are different. But essentially, we are all very similar. Okay. We value, we, we are mature to understand that being selfish does not make us happy. That's why we care about our family and society a little more. Yes, for a long time, there was a lot of restriction which we are breaking, you know, restrictions, like girls will not go to school, girls will not go to college, stuff like that. Those things are changing now. Girls will not wear this, girls will not wear that. Those things are changing. But even those girls who wear nice jeans and top, okay, they also wear their traditional clothes very respectfully on a special occasions. They do not wear jeans and top as an expression of as an expression of rebellion. They wear jeans and a top because it's more comfortable. And Indians are very adaptable people. You know, we adapt very quickly. Okay, so one day we, I was in a debate. Somebody, there are lots of Europeans, there are lots of Americans who have a very low opinion of Indians. They think we are beggars. They think we are rapists. They think we are uncivilized. Ignorance. They haven't had an opportunity to talk to Indians, you know, they haven't, and the media shows only bad things about India, yeah. you know, in other countries. And that's why they have a very negative image of Indians, a lot of them. Some people, they know what India stands for, an amazing society, inclusive society we are, inclusively understand. Yeah. We say, doesn't matter who you are, you're welcome, you know? There are very few societies which are like India, like Canada, very inclusive, okay? Like whoever you are, whatever your faith, your belief system is, you can be one of us, like America, like Australia. But remember, these countries are recent countries with no history. America, Canada, Australia, the original people, the native people of those countries are no longer in power there. They are sidelined. The native Canadians, they're sidelined. They're not in politics. They're not in mainstream society. They were exploited by these white people, mainly Europeans. They went and settled down. America, Canada, Australia and South Africa, 
okay these countries are ruled by foreigners who went there only 3 400 years ago okay and they destroyed the local um, you know culture civilization completely exploited them and today they have become liberal okay but india is not one of those countries india is a country where all of us have been living here for generations generations okay and still we are so inclusive you will not find societies like in like india outside like i said canada is like india australia is like india and um, america is also like india all these three countries say you whoever you are you are welcome we don't mind okay Give me a second. So, I uh, I know that there are a lot of things that we need to change about our country. India can improve. Indian people can get better. They can learn more. Where are you, Shazia? Are you here? Sir. Uh, where is Afreen? Uh, yes, yes, sir. sir. <laughs> okay, Did sir, you read my message? Did you read my message? Mujhe ghoos chahiye. Ghoos, you understand now? Everybody bribe? Bribe. Bride, B R I B E. Okay, not much of a difference. Bride, bride. Bride means dulhan, and bride means goose. Yeah, uh -huh. I don't know. Okay, so she when she tried to insult, you know, make some sarcastic remarks, I decided to call her out as well. I said, hey, how does it make sense that you guys, you know, wipe instead of wash? She said, what's wrong with that? I said, okay, let me dis let me give you an, a, an example. I said, do you have a dog? She said, yeah. I said, imagine that your dog poops right outside your house on the doorway, okay? Uh, what are you going to do? Are you going to just wipe it or are you going to wash it? She said, I'll wash it. I said, dog poop needs to be washed and your own poop doesn't need to be washed. <laughs> How does it make sense? She had no answer. <laughs> I said, why don't you just wipe it with some paper and leave it that way? It's your own body part and you're leaving it dirty, just wiping it with some paper. How does it? Yeah, it, it's common sense. Water washes best water cleans best you know there is nothing better than water to clean right and you are using paper toilet paper i mean if you use the toilet paper afterwards makes sense to just maybe pad dry or something <laughs> nothing she didn't have any answer like how could she argue with that she had to lose the argument right there of course what would they say some people are shameless they say, oh, no, no, it's different. What is different? The both poop, right? You're pooping, the dog poop, right? And that place needs to be washed with water. And your part of your body doesn't need to be washed with water. What's the logic? She lost the argument. And again, I think this is something they are just not changing because they're used to it. You see, but I think it makes better sense. And now, one more thing. Like, we Indians use water, that's great. But we should not use our hand to wash us, wash ourselves. Guys, I'm saying this to all of you, okay? Today, we have ghar, jal, nal, you know. Everybody has supply water in their houses. So now they have a tank on their 
roofs, okay, and running water, okay, to their bathroom, to their toilet. Please get a hands-free, okay? Even if you do not have this English commode, Western commode, no problems. Even if you use the Indian commode, it's okay. But please don't use your hands. This is, again, common sense. My mom taught me when I was small, right hand is for eating and left hand is for washing. Okay? And I believed her. But now I know it's not like that. You don't need your hand to wash. Okay? We have um, this hands-free, you know, hands-free cost only seven, eight hundred rupees. Seven, eight hundred rupees you invest in your bathroom, in your toilet, and you will never, you minimize the chances of getting infected. Because when you use your hand, to wash yourself in the toilet, then you are taking a risk here, right? Yes, I know you wash your hand afterwards with soap and everything, but there is a little bit of risk that maybe a child did not wash his hand properly. And right, he did not wash his hand properly. Then, you know, you know, the waste material that comes out of body, our poo, shit, you know, is the worst thing to infect you. There's so many uh, things like parasite and stuff there uh, that can infect you, can make you sick. What is typhoid, by the way? Typhoid. Typhoid is caused by this, you know, dirt, actually. Typhoid is caused by dirt. It's a strange that in 21st century, in 2023, we still get typhoid. What is typhoid caused by? Typhoid, typhoid is caused by Just a second. What is typhoid caused by? Typhoid fever is a life-threatening infection caused by the bacterium Salmonella typhi. It is usually spread through contaminated food or water. Once Salmonella typhi bacteria are ingested, they multiply and spread into the bloodstream. Okay, so this is a bacteria. Samolina uh, typhi, okay? And uh, it infects food and water. First, contaminates food and water, not infects. Makes the water and food dirty. And where is this bacteria found? In the shit, in the dirt. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. At least you can minimize your chances. And when you eat fruit, vegetables, wash them properly. Because they, you know, lots of people still go into the fields for their morning business, you know, in villages. This is one of the worst things they do, you see, because they make the soil contaminated and that can contaminate the fruit and vegetables that grow there and it can get into our stomach. Farmers should not use their fields as the toilet. It is not, you know, they can, they say it is a, it is a good, uh, what do you call it? For, for, Fertilizer, okay. Poop can work as a fertilizer. Yes, but not that way. There, there are other ways. There are other ways to use poop as fertilizer. Okay, not that way, directly. Okay, now. So we described the kitchen. Now your turn. Describe the bedroom. It's a small bedroom. This bedroom is a, um, I want to tell you something. It, it is a pronoun. It is used instead of a noun. I like your t-shirt. It looks good. It looks, it means your t-shirt. Okay. Yeah. So it is a pronoun. And after it, we use the verb either is or verb with S. So, sweetie has written its look. Sweetie, you have written its look. You should say it looks, it looks nice. It looks beautiful. It looks better. Okay. It looks ugly. It looks beautiful. So, sweetie, please do not add S to it. Subject it is it. Verb needs S. Like he goes, it goes. 
he looks sad it looks sad it's look no it looks correction sweetie yes sir it is a pronoun so when i say it is a small bedroom i'm saying this bedroom is a small bedroom okay it is a small bedroom there is a small bedroom is a different sentence i'm saying hey lekin i'm saying ye bedroom chota hai it is a small bedroom it maine pehle it bola matlab iske bare mein baat kar raha hu jaise main kahun saim i'm talking about saim he is a nice guy he is a saim is a nice guy abhi suno dusra sentence there is a nice guy in this class there is a his name is saim ab samajh aaya there is a nice boy in this class is class mein ek acha ladka hai his name is saim i hope you understand and when i say saim is a nice guy i can say he is a nice guy so there is a nice guy okay and he is a nice guy are two different things there is a nice guy ki hindi karenge ek acha ladka hai kaun hai abhi hame nahi pata ek acha ladka hai jab main keh raha hu he is a nice guy to mera he kisi ke taraf hai right mere dimag mein koi already hai he jiske liye main bol raha hu he is a nice guy aapko pata chal raha hai he is a nice guy sign okay main aapko apna mobile dikhaun to aap kya bolenge there is a nice mobile yeah it is a nice mobile right ओके okay. आप मुझे आकर के बता रहे हैं ऐसे ही है कि सर बाजार में एक तो नया बढ़िया मोबाइल आया हुआ है देर इज ए नाइस मोबाइल इन द इन द मार्केट ओके इट्स नॉट वेरी एक्सपेंसिव सर वेरी गुड इट इज वेरी गुड अब आप इट करके बता रहे हैं वही मोबाइल के बारे में राइट इट इज नॉट वेरी एक्सपेंसिव इट इज नाइस इट इज वेरी गुड इट हैज अ लॉट ऑफ फीचर्स सो इट्स अ नाइस जब मैं इट बोल रहा हूं तो आपको पता चल रहा ना ओके इट्स अ नाइस बेडरूम इट्स अ स्मॉल बेडरूम देर इज अ बेड जी एंड नेक्स्ट टू द बेड देर इज ए लैम्प एंड देर इज ए वॉर्ड्रोब इन द कॉर्नर देर इज ए वॉर्ड्रोब इन द कॉर्नर ई ऑन द वॉर्ड्रोब देर आर सम बॉक्सेस we don't know what's inside those boxes we no. don't know what's what's inside these boxes okay aap log na meri baat pe repeat karne ka aadat dale aap zyada tezi se sikhoge badhiya sikhoge aur relax kar liye jaane diye shabdon ko to fir aap english nahi seekh payenge utni tezi se to words ko ignore na kare and uh, behind the bed there is a window right a yeah, f and uh, there is a curtain on this window there are two curtains and there is a big door d in the middle of the bedroom there is a chair in the middle of the room there is a chair and there is there are some clothes on the chair there is a towel there there are ye jeans lag rahe the jo lag raha hai lagao lo mujhe to lag raha leggings these are some leggings yeah and in the other corner there is a chest of drawers a chest of drawers a chest of drawers take a look this is the chest of drawers 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 you know drawers you draw them out okay so they, you call them drawers d r a w e r plural s drawers okay and it is called a chest of drawers okay yes. usually made of wood usually made of wood a chest of drawers okay and on the top of the drawer chest of drawers there are some cosmetics i think i think it is a girls bedrooms now 
describe the kitchen. It's a very beautiful kitchen. There is a fridge, sir. There is a fridge. Double door there fridge. Double door fridge. Double door fridge. It is, it is a double door fridge. No. Kisne ka, there is a fridge. Humne ka, yeah, it is a double door fridge. Next to the fridge. Next to the fridge. There is a sink, right? There is a sink. Yeah. With a lovely tap on it. And okay. above a sink. Uh, there is a, a, a window. Very good. And uh, next to the sink, uh, there is a uh, dishwasher. Right. And uh, three plates are on. Are, uh, the, there are three are, plates on the dishwasher, on the top of the dishwasher. On the top of the dishwasher. Uh, there is an oven as well, right? And uh, there is a four burner cooker. There is a four burner cooker. Char burner wala cooker. Hai. Cooker matlab not always pressure cooker. Cooker means wo to hota hi hai, pressure cooker. Cooker means uh, stove as well, gas stove. You know, yeah, cooker. To khana bana hai usko cooker. So four burner cooker. Can you see four burner cooker? Yeah. Uh, do you have a four burner cooker in your house? No. A three burner cooker? A two burner cooker. You guys have a two burner cooker, right? My sister has a three burner cooker. Okay. And? So, um, <clears throat> uh, hey, the dishwasher is... is not here. The dishwasher is there next to the wash uh, washing machine. Next to the washing machine, yes, sir. Yeah. And there are a lot of cabinets above on the wall. Okay. On the wall. Okay. It is a top loading washing machine or front loading washing machine? It's a front loading washing machine, right? And there are some. Boxes. Sir, what is the kettle. L, sir? A cooker. A four burner cooker. L is a cooker. In the middle of the kitchen, there is a dining table. Three chairs. On the dining table, there is a... There is a vase. Or vase with some flowers in it. Now describe the living room. It's a small living room. There is a sofa. And there are two cushions. There are two cushions on the sofa. There are two cushions on the sofa. In front of the sofa, there is an armchair too. The armchair also has a cushion on it. Uh, they, there is a lamp next to the sofa, uh, armchair, yes. And there is a coffee table. There is a coffee table in front of the sofa. In front of the sofa. Okay, in front of the sofa. On the coffee table. No, no, on the coffee table, there is a book. There is a newspaper. And there are some show plants as well. Behind the sofa, behind the sofa on the wall, there is a there is a mirror. There is a painting. There's a picture. Right. The mirror is next to the painting. Yeah. And uh, in the there is a there are some bookshelves. There are some books and there are lots of books on them. There are lots of books on them. There is a rug. There is a rug under the coffee table. There is a rug under the... S is a rug. You can see and Bart is still asking me the meaning. 
S is a rag. Take a look at the screen. Take a look at the screen. Take a look at the screen. S. S is a rag. Abhi bhi rag ka matlab puchhenge aap. Rag matlab hota hai khas tarah ka tota. To? Rag ek jarwar ka naam. To? Kalicha. It's like a carpet. Khatam ho gaya. Okay? Rag is a carpet type thing. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Um, next to the armchair. Yeah, next to the armchair. Abhi, you guys have to do this, you know, with a partner as well, but not now. Wait. You can ask as well, where is the sofa? Where is the armchair? Okay. Yes. And your friends can answer. You can describe the room just like I described. Now, I think maybe you guys should first practice that and then we will come back to this too much. Otherwise, it will be. I'm opening the rooms for you. Some people are absent. They should not be absent. Okay, I'm opening rooms with three people in a room, okay? Three people in a room. Do your best, everybody. Start your conversation. Do the same thing. Jabi hum log ki wahi fir se kar liya. Ati bita, go to the breakout. Okay. All right. Okay, thank you. Kettle, cattle, no, kettle. Cattle means janwar, okay? Kettle. The spellings are very different though. Kettle starts with K. Cattle starts with C. C A double T L E. Cattle. Animals. Cattle. Animals. Cattle and kettle K E double T L E kettle K E just like massage and massage yeah. M E M A yeah M E message M A massage everything else is the same okay do you have any questions to ask from your practice? Any words, any prepositions that you need more help with? Any questions? Somebody wanted to know the English of parda. I said curtains, okay? Now, do you have any other question, anybody? Sir, I'm... No, sir. That is... Okay. Sir, yes, Vita. Mm, next to the... Next to the... The, fl the flush is behind. Ab dekho na usko. Piche bologe ki pagal mein bologe. Pagal bologe ki piche bologe. Hindi mein kya bolenge? Piche ki pagal mein. Agar piche bolenge to behind. Pagal mein bolenge to next to. Okay. That is a wardrobe and that is a door. Next to. Next to. Next to the Almira. Uh, in front of uh, window, uh, door is, is in the bed. corner next to the bed. Yeah, yes, yeah. Hello, sir? yes, uh, Faisal. Yes, mm -hmm. in front of the window, uh, there is a bed. Ah, lovely sentence. Very good. In front of the window, there is a bed. Very good, sir. Can we say that there is a there is a painting beside the mirror. Yes, beta. Next to 
next is to. the same as beside beside means next to next to next to means beside in day to day conversation next to is more common next to is more common in day to day conversation but beside means the same thing thank you is not enough zara i need goose money 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 okay sir i want I to know sir this. what is the difference between uh, when i when we said sir in english uh, sometimes i um, uh, really very confused sir what i am saying to my friends hello. or family hello when one person is talking everybody will listen to that person carefully what is he saying you cannot say oh bas ka mamla hai ye to ek attitude ho jata hai na wo ki bhai matlab nahi hai apne kaam se matlab okay don't do that listen if faizan repeat sir when Aapka i question important hai i will listen to your question as well but one by one okay hmm. when i said someone sir i'm going to toilet i want i am going to uh, washroom i'm going to bathroom i can't differentiate sir toilet bathroom washroom okay 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 sometimes got it, got it. i use bathroom sometimes i use toilet sometimes i use washroom right right right, right. good question very good question very very good question okay any other question you guys were talking about something with each other Uh, is there, uh, told me rug. rug is a carpet like thing in the living room under the coffee table you will see in some people's houses they have a carpet cotton you know under the coffee table a nice beautiful we call, rug. We call it that Uh, the stakhan nana nana dari sir dari dari sir dari dari okay okay now you have no confusion because i'm sharing with you take a look can you see the rugs different different rugs here are okay can you see rugs these are kalines hai na yes yeah, they are called rugs okay everybody different shapes round rectangular oval okay look this is again like i said a sofa a coffee table under the coffee table there is a rug rug it's a very common common uh, way to decorate your living room yeah okay there is no rug it is a carpet from or maybe it is also a rug a big rug right i i don't understand the difference between a carpet and a rug by the way okay i normally think that a carpet you know um is something that we put on the whole room floor carpet goes on the whole room right from wall to the wall that we call carpet sir aapki awaaz nahi aa rahi You can hear me now. Yes, sir. We can hear you. Uh -huh. So I was saying now uh, that rugs are there in the rugs are in the uh, living room under the coffee table. In the bedroom, you have carpets usually. You have carpets usually. Okay. 
However, I am not very sure about the difference between a carpet and a rug. Chalo dekh lete hain. Rug versus carpet. There you go. We can we call carpet a covering that stretches from wall to wall. Just when I the wall to wall is carpet. Okay. Affixed to the floor. Usually stuck, affixed to the floor. It's not movable. Carpet is not movable. On the other hand, rugs tend to be smaller uh, than the room's square footage and are not affixed to the floor. You can move them, right? Rugs are movable. So Kaleen. Kalini is the best word for rug. Okay. They can be rolled up and moved from place to place. Carpet is fixed to the floor. Rugs are not fixed to the floor. Okay, that's the difference. Shallow. Fix the problem. Now there is no confusion left between rugs and carpet. Okay. Now the question Faizan asked. The very, very good question. Okay. You guys also feel confused. What is the difference between washroom, bed, bathroom, toilet? Bathroom and bathroom. Bathroom word is used when you are at somebody's home. Maybe. Washroom and bathroom are actually very similar. When you are outside in public places, you prefer the word washroom. Okay. You prefer the word washroom when you are outside. There isn't a difference. You refer to the same thing. So when you go to somebody's house, you also say, where is the washroom? Okay. But you are basically talking about the bathroom. Okay. The toilet is a part of the bathroom. In India, though, toilets are separate outside the bathroom. Most people do not have the toilet and the bathroom in the same room. They have two different places. Toilets are outside and bathroom is separate. But nowadays, we are also being influenced by the Westerners, and we also have the toilet inside the bathroom, inside the room. So toilet is a part of the bathroom where you sit and do your morning business, okay, usually. So that is that part is called toilet, okay. Done. Bathroom and washroom are not very different. In public places, we prefer the word washroom. washroom. And the toilet is the part of the bathroom. If you're going to poo, if you're going to poo, then you will use the word toilet. I'm going to the toilet. Okay. I'm going to the toilet. Hey. Remember to take things from here as well. Next. Uh, Faizan, did you understand? Toilet is part of the bathroom. And washroom and bathroom are the same thing. But the word washroom is more commonly used when you are outside your house. Yeah, that's it. And so, um... There are many other words. There is a word called loo. L -O -O, loo. I'm going to the loo. Okay. Loo is an informal word for toilet. Okay. You don't have a bath in the loo. You pee, you poop, okay? These are common words. Pee means to do this. Poop means to do this, okay? You understand? There are formal words. Urinate, pee, okay? Urinate, pass urine, okay? And there is another phrase, take a piss. Which is very casual. Friends use karte hai, ke Teacher ke saamne apne bolna chayenge. Take a piss. Okay. Because shabdo ke apna mariyada hoti na. Feeling hoti na. Aap hindi mein word bolte hai. Pe ja rahe. Wo aap dosto ke saath bol sakte hai. Teacher ke saamne bolenge. Sir, kya hai? Aise bolenge aap. Nahi na. <laughs> that will sound so insult insulting to the teacher. The teacher will say. Maa baap se khai nahi kaise baat karna hai. You say to the teacher. Sir. Pisha word is acceptable in this class, right? If somebody says pisha karne jana hai, that's okay, right? But if somebody uses the word M-U-T, 
<laughs> the teacher is going to be very angry, right? So similarly, in English, we have words which are okay and which are not okay. So to pee is like Prashap Karna is okay. People will accept it. You know, he said, I'm going to pee, okay? But if you say piss, okay, then that is like a muty feeling way aayegi, okay? So you should not use that word publicly as a, if you are a person who respects other people, then use it with friends and take a piss, okay? So can you tell me... Um... Okay, so in English, maybe as a phrase, I'll beat you so hard, you will piss your pants. You will piss your pants, okay? Or you will poop your pants, <laughs> okay? Oh, yes, you were saying something, Peza. Yes, uh, how do I pron uh, pronounce it? Um, is uh, how do I uh, write is misspelling of P or P or P I E P double P P double O P poop. These are common words. Nobody will mind these words. Okay, they are easy words. Okay, you can use them anywhere. But formal places, suppose the government agencies are talking about these things, they will not use P and poop. They will say urinate and defecate. Urinate and... Okay, defecate means to do pooping. Okay, defecate. Don't defecate in the open. Don't defecate in the, in the open. That's what the government said. They said build toilets. 75 years since we got independent and you don't have a toilet in your house. A toilet is a must, right? especially for women, I mean, it is such a shame that women have to go out to defecate. Women have to go out to... Yeah. Why do defecate words in the formal context? Because in the formal context, it feels a little bit... How much... If we talk to friends, we can talk to each other. You know, in villages, women go out to poop and pee, right? Because they don't have a toilet in their house. Okay. Which is a shame. Very, very bad. And so when I don't want to explain what I am going, uh, why I am going to toilet, then sir, what? Uh, Say I'm going to the toilet. I need to go to the toilet. I need, I need to, to go to the I need toilet. to Be, go to the well, toilet. You don't know why you're going to the toilet? To pee or to poo? No, it's the same. Excuse me. I need to visit the toilet. I need to visit the loo. I need to visit the loo. Okay, and sir, uh, outside outside of uh, my house, when we use um, and when we the realize to use toilet, then don't I use uh, bathroom? Washroom. Washroom. W-A-S-H-R-W-R. Washroom or toilet, sir? Yes. Washroom. Washroom. Yeah, washroom. A very, very, very These are not true. rules, by the way. These are rules. What are these? What are these? What are rules? What are these? 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 What are now, there is, there are a holiday cottage. Have you done this? Page number 23, everyone. A holiday cottage. Look at the advert. Advert means? Advertisement. 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 Yes. Yes, Simran. Advertisement. Advert, advert is short for? Advertisement. Advertisement. MP is short for? Member of? Parliament. Okay. Yes. DR is short for doctor. DR is short for doctor. Okay. So see, but I'm going to tell you what I'm going to say. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to say. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to say. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to say. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to say. When your teacher is talking to you, 
it soon becomes a habit. You have to develop a new habit. When the teacher is talking, he is not talking, he is teaching. And I must listen to him. In this class, yes, when I'm talking to you, and you know, 99% times I'll be talking to you in English. So every time I'm saying something to you in English, I am teaching you. It doesn't matter what I'm saying. Even if I'm telling you a joke, I'm teaching you. Why? Because the sentences will be in English. The word arrangement, the grammar, the verb forms, everything you can learn from my sentences. So we study 90 minutes here, literally, you know. Everything I'm saying in English is a lesson. Okay, so I said advert is short, short form for advertisement. Of advertisement. Short, is... short for <laughs> advert is short for advertisement. Short for DR is short for doctor. MP is short for member of parliament. STC is short for Sony tutorial classes where you study English. Okay. Yeah, TV is short for television. Very good. DVD is short for this DVD, digital video disc. DVD is short for digital video disc. Ganpat is clever. L is no. the L is short for learning. <laughs> no, sorry, yeah, Fazan, that's not true. For engineer. But sir, ER is short. For lots engineer. of time we uh, we saw the. Uh, Back of the car, back of the mirror of car. L. That's a different thing. L. That's a different thing. We have to mention it. On the car number plate, on the uh, car number plate, L is short for learning. Somebody who is not trained yet, right? I don't know. Is it true? You put L there yeah. when you're learning. Yes, sir. It then is true. Okay. Well, well, I do not know about this, so I can't make a comment. But I taught you how to use short for something. And the best was TV was TV is short for television. Television. Yes. Now take a look. Look at the advert for a holiday cottage. What is a holiday cottage? Mm -hmm. Nanigar. <laughs> Very good answer, actually. A holiday cottage is, of course, a cottage. But you only visit that cottage when you are on holiday. You stay there for a holiday. Now, how many of us do something like this? None of us. Do you have a holiday home, anyone? So a holiday home, a holiday cottage is a place where you spend your holidays, just like a farmhouse, okay? A farmhouse can be your holiday home, right? Holiday cottage, holiday home, such words are very commonly used to refer to those places where you spend your holiday. So people, a lot of people, they get bored living in the same place throughout the year. So for one month, 15 days, they go and live in a holiday home or live in a holiday cottage. Normally, these holiday homes and cottages are in the countryside because people from cities go to the countryside near the river, near the ocean, right? They have on the beach and all those places because human beings want to be close to nature. We live in big cities, right? But nature-wise, we want to be close to nature like mountains rivers these things attract us more when you see a very beautiful city lots of tall buildings okay wide roads fast cars and when you see another photo of a mountain or some hills and a river 
you know, some green grass, some green fields, then which photo makes you wow? Which photo makes you go wow? That photo of the mountains and hills and rivers, right? So we, nature-wise, essentially, we are close to nature. We want to live near nature. But life has changed and nowadays a lot of people live in big cities. So when they get bored of that concrete jungle, cities are a concrete jungle in a way, right? A jungle has trees and a city has only concrete, mount, you know, buildings, 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 buildings. So when you get bored living there, then you go for a holiday, right? And you go and rent because in a village, you don't have a... A, a hotel to stay, right? When you go to those famous places like Kashmir and all, maybe there are hotels, okay? But then there are some places where there are no hotels. Then you rent a holiday home, a holiday cottage, okay? So this is an advert for a holiday cottage. If anybody is interested in having a holiday, they can come here, complete the sentences. First of all, let's read. Apple tree cottage. The name of this cottage is? Apple tree, Apple cottage. tree cottage. Okay. Where is it? In Lime Ridges. Where is it? In Lime Ridges. Lime Ridges is a place, my dear student, where this cottage is. Okay. This cottage is in Lime Ridges. Yes. It is, Apple Tree Cottage is a lovely old cottage. Apple Tree Cottage is a lovely old cottage in the heart of the beautiful Dorset countryside. It is in the heart of the beautiful Dorset countryside. Dorset is written with a capital D. A proper noun? Yeah. A name of a person or place? Name of in this place. Context, it is a place. Dorset country, countryside, okay? So there is a countryside called Dorset, okay? And uh, Dorset is the area where this, Lime uh, where Lime Regis is, and uh, this apple tree cottage is located there. Uh, features, there are three double bedrooms because you usually go on holiday, you go on holiday with your family, so you need more bedrooms, right? So there are three, double bedrooms there is a big kitchen and there is a living room too with open fire fire you know open fire because these places are cold england and other countries in europe are cold so they need an open fire a means to heat up the place uh, in countries like india middle east they essentially need an ac because it's very hot here, right? But in the in the West, in, in America and in uh, Europe, it's very cold. So they need uh, some fire. They have a heater as well. Nowadays, they have this modern heating system. But traditionally, they used fire. A chimney goes out of their house, okay? They burn the fire. The smoke goes out through a pipe. And the heat makes the room warm okay so there is a living room with open fire there isn't a tv in the living room okay and why would there be a tv you don't go on holiday to watch tv <laughs> do you go on holiday to watch tv you can watch tv at home as well right so it's best if you don't have a tv when you go on holiday where you stay two bathrooms there are Two yeah, bathrooms, yeah. which is good, which is very good. Yeah. And there is a small garden. You can see outside the cottage. The cottage looks so beautiful. No, 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 no. Aise nahi bolne ka. Har baar there. Aapko kya bata ja raha hai? Distance bata ja raha hai? From the seaside. It means this cottage is three miles, na? This cottage is... Only three miles from the seaside town of Lime Ridges. So, aap, there are, there is, kaise bol sakte hai? There is, there are, to bolte hai, koi cheez hai batane ke liye. 
और ये बता रहे हैं कि ये जो ये जो कॉटेज है लाइम रेजिस शहर से तीन किलोमीटर तीन माइल्स दूर है लाइम रेजिस से तीन माइल्स दूर है लाइम रेजिस इज ए सी साइड टाउन इज ए देखो ना द सी साइड टाउन ऑफ लाइम रेजिस द सी साइड टाउन ऑफ लाइम रेजिस मीन्स लाइम रेजिस इज ए टाउन एंड इट इज नियर द सी दैट्स वाई इट इज अ सी साइड टाउन फ्रेज देखना द सी साइड टाउन ऑफ लाइम रेजिस उफ यू रिमेंबर बाबर अली टेक्सट the small village of bhavta the small village of bhavta remember so bhavta was a small village and here the lime ridges is a seaside town the seaside town of lime ridges this this cottage is 3 miles from there this cottage is 3 miles from there the distance between this cottage and the town of lime ridges is only 3 miles and there are great restaurants and cafes and there are there is a lovely beach and there are some local shops and chemists as well so there is there are ka maqsad hota hai koi cheez hai batana wo teen agar main bolu mera rajgir jo hai bihar se se 25 km hai to bole rajgir is 25 km from bihar se so this cottage is 3 miles from lime ridges this cottage is 3 miles from lime ridges and lime ridges is a seaside town so of course i went slow because of my sickness but i'm glad that we managed to study a little bit we'll carry on i hope things are becoming easy slowly and slowly for you aap jante ho ye sab lamba process hai theek hai ये जो सोचते ना कि जमा करने जैसा एक कार्ड जमा कर लिया दूसरा कार्ड जमा कर लिया बचपन में हम लोग ऐसी इंग्लिश पढ़े ही है आज ये टेंस पढ़ लिए कल वो टेंस पढ़ लिए राइट कॉपी में कुछ लिखा जाता था लगता था सीख गए हैं कुछ हिंदी से इंग्लिश भी कर लेते थे लेकिन कहाँ पहुंचते हैं घूम फिर के देखो आप लोग सब के सब कि आपके पास इतनी इंग्लिश वो क्या है वर्ड्स आप बहुत सारे जानते हो इंग्लिश के जितने भी मैं वर्ड्स बोलता हूँ सब तो फेमिलियर ही है आपके यू गाइज नाइनटी ऑफ द वर्ड्स आई यूज are familiar words right you guys know them but still it's a shame that you don't speak english isliye mujhe lagta hai bahut aasan hai aapke liye kaam kyunki aapko vocabulary yaad nahi karna hai sirf is baat pe dhyan dena hai ki sir kaise words ko arrange karte hain bas is baat pe dhyan dijiye aur ghar pe text ko dohra lijiye theek hai har kaam jo hum yahan kare usko dohra lijiye ghar do it alone jaisa bhi breakout room mein kaise dohraye the just repeat everything we do here in the class I'll see you guys. Let me call the attendance, and I will, of course, encourage people to be more regular. Uh, some of my students are very, very irregular students. Ah, Zeba, where is she? What happened to Zeba? Her brother's wedding is over. Why is she not back? Anybody has information about Zeba? Padma is absent. She's been absent lately because of her sister's wedding. Shazia present. Luxar, Arsalan, Athar, Ate, Safdar, Faizan, still Manaras, Sahil, Faizan Ali, Khushbu, Noshin. Nasheen, beta, you need to be more regular. Sharik Ahmed absent for long time. Abhinav is absent too. I don't believe it. Mudassar, Ganpat, Tasir, Nayar, Spaz, Rishikesh, Ayush. Ab to remove kar do main ko. अब नाम हटाऊंगा ओके आई विल रिमूव सम नेम्स सोनू निगम इज लेफ्ट सद्दाम हुसैन हैज कम टू अनदर क्लास साइन शबाज खान मजान मेरान मेरान इज आल्सो एब्सेंट मुशर्रफ इमाम रंजीत शदाब 
मशूक भाई लल्ला टेल मशूक टू ज्वाइन द न्यू क्लास एटलिस्ट सिमरन जेबा रोशीन इज एबसेंट टू इट इज हियर अज्जू इज हियर फराज इज हियर लल्ला इज हियर मून इज नॉट मुदसर आलम इज हियर मौसम नॉट हियर अनीश 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 इज गॉन अफरीदी and nidhi nidhi has gone to the other class okay everybody i'm going to remove some names from this list because um they have switched to other classes and some of them have left the class so go home study revise the lessons learning english is very easy bye 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 sir bye sir bye bye, bye. bye.